To get a better understanding of what a molar mass is, I wanted to give you a couple examples. Uh, here we are asking how many moles are there in a 14.5 gram sample of helium, knowing that the mass of one mole of helium is 4.003 grams. And here they're asking what is the mass of 20 moles of silver atoms, knowing that the mass of a single silver atom is 107.9 AMUs. So what do we mean by molar mass? Molar mass is the mass of a mole of anything. In this case, the mole of helium atoms or a mole of silver atoms and so forth. So how do we calculate that? Well, we know we have a sample of 14.5 grams of helium. So if we take 14.500 grams of helium and we multiply that times a ratio. So what we want is we want to know the number of moles. So n is equal to question mark because a small n is used to represent the number of moles. So what we're going to do is we say, well, one mole, one mole has a mass of 4.003 grams. 4.003 grams of helium. That's what I want to do. All right. So what we take is we take our sample of helium, 14.5 grams, and multiply times the ratio that one mole is equal to 4.003 grams of helium. Now notice that grams of helium and grams of helium cancel out and we're left with the number of moles, which is what we're looking for. So what we need to do now is take the 14.5 and divide it by 4.003 equals and we get 3.622 moles. So that's how we find the number of moles in any sample. We take the mass of the sample and we multiply it times the ratio of the moles per grams of that sample. So in other words, we basically divide it by the molar mass. So this here is known as the molar mass of helium. All right, so take the sample, in the mass of the sample, divide by the molar mass, you get the number of moles. That's the way you want to do it. Now, what if we have 20 moles of silver atoms, and we want to know the mass of that. What is the mass equal to if we have this many moles of silver atoms? Well, we take the number of moles, so we have 20 moles of silver atoms, and we're going to multiply times the molar mass. Now, they didn't give us the molar mass, they gave us the mass of one single silver atom, but now we know that there's a relationship because if you have a mole of them, we can then say the mass of one mole of silver atoms is equal to this many grams, 107.9 grams. And this here is what we call the molar mass. So if they gave us the atomic mass, so this here is called the atomic mass, the mass of a single atom, if I then get that in terms of AMUs, I can use the same number and call it the number of grams for a mole of the same thing. So this is called the molar mass and this is called the atomic mass. So now I have the molar mass, so I'm going to multiply this by 107.9 grams per one mole of uh, silver atoms. Notice the mole of silver atoms cancels out and I'm left with a multiplication of 20 times this. So 20 times 107.9 equals 200, hmm, 2,158 grams. <clears throat> so if I have 20 moles of silver atoms and the conversion is 107.9 grams per mole of silver atoms, I have that many grams of silver. And that's how you think about the molar mass.